Hi everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic, with a kind of haul video. I haven't done one of these in, like, forever. Um, there hasn't been too much to show, to be honest, to, um, with you. Um, but for those who watched my video yesterday and got to the very end, you would know that I had today off. Um, so I did a little bit of comic book hunting and stopped off at my local comic book store and the guy um, had just bought in a a collection uh, mostly there's nothing special here um, it's all kind of 80s and 90s stuff and me filling gaps of runs that I'm trying to collect um, so I just thought you know for a change because I haven't done uh, any other videos apart from my Thursday review show videos for quite some time I'm gonna sort that out I promise um, I'll just show you the haul I've got so let's kick off um, I was looking for a lot of um, Oh, let's get that right there. That's better. Um, I was looking mostly for Fantastic Four and Daredevil, but unfortunately this collection was very much X-related. But we've got Fantastic Four issue 373. Um, an Ultimate X-Men issue number one, and I'm glad I got this for basically 50p. Um, as you can see right there, there was some sort of price tag there and it, it's kind of stained the cover but for 50p i'm not going to say no um you don't can you see that it's a yes look at that it's a shiny cover it's the secret defenders issue 12 um a kind of stunning thanos um cover there Warlock and the Infinity Watch, issue one. Apparently, this is a collector's item. Hmm. <laughs> um, well, I saw this. Again, it's a little bit of a shiny cover. I don't know. The, it's all shiny there. But it's what if the Hulk had killed a Wolverine. A giant-sized 50th issue. Spectacular. Um, trying to complete the Invaders run I've got. Um, issue 22. Um, and never before revealed the untold origin of Tarro. Another Invaders, this time issue 39. Couple of Daredevil. Um, most of these are unbagged um, and mostly reader copies, but you know me, I'm happy. Um, whatever condition, as long as they're not torn, ripped, or missing pages. So that's 309 and 310. Um, this will teach me not to look and check what I've picked up. Yes, I've got two issues of Silver Surfer, issue 74. Um, this is going to happen again, I'm telling you now. Um, Alpha Flight, issue 6, the Snowblind issue. Um, all those pages that were basically blank apart from word bubbles. But issue 3, Alpha Flight. Um, Excalibur, issue three, issue four, and issue oops, five. That's the first little bit. Let's get the next batch. Let's fit them. Are they going to go in there? Now oh, you're getting a sneaky peek. Right, okay, so Uncanny X-Men. Um, I'm trying to collect... Uh, well, I've done quite well so far, um, but I'm only going from issue 200 upwards for now. Um, so these are issue 213, 286, 297, 304 with uh, the old holographic um, cover that the 90s just loved churning out. Um, what number is that? 322. 350 with a gambit. Shiny cover. Shiny cover. <laughs> Uh, X Man um, issue five coming out of the Age of Apocalypse original storyline. 
Um, issue 50 of X-Man. Uh, issue 63 when um, basically Marvel had had enough of all the X titles and decided to um, start bringing them to a close. So we had this counter X or X counter um, storyline running through most of the um, X titles uh, and we saw a lot darker versions of the characters that we were used to. So Warren Ellis there, issue 63. Um, X-Men, um, the um, Jim Lee drawn issue three, issue four, issue five, move up a bit to issue 18 and the Cuba cover. Um, issue 25, again, another one that I doubled up on, unfortunately, with the old holographic, um, probably won't see that very well, but issue 25, so I've got two of those by accident. Um, issue 67, 87, and 113. But it doesn't stop there. We have more. Um, the last little batch now. Um, just a few more X titles and then some random ones that I decided to um, pick up and have a go. Let's just move that camera just a touch. 66, X Factor. Gradually getting my way down the X Factor, filling in gaps. Issue 100. Another shiny cover. Issue 130, Mystique. X Force, um, issue 76, issue 77. Do you know, there's something about that cover, I just love it. Issue 87, 88, 89. Um, again, X-Force coming in with the counter X storyline um, and coming to a close, at least with this um, kind of team. Um, 107. 108. 109. And 113. And 114. And that, my friends, is the end of my um, day off comic book haul. Hope you enjoyed looking at those. Uh, I'm off to, well, rebag and board these bad boys. Um, and have a good old sit down and with a cup of coffee and a few comic books. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Stay chilly. <laughs>